Good morning class. Today we are going to see geography lesson 1 resources. In today's class we are going to see the following topics. Introduction, what are the what are resources, basic classification for understanding the resources and the sum up. Introduction, nature has a large variety of rocks, soil, minerals, natural vegetation and animals. There, these are called gifts of nature. We use these gifts of nature to fulfill our daily needs. Humans were unaware of the utility of these gifts of nature. Therefore, they were fully dependent upon the environment. However, with the passage of time, humans, however, with the passage of time, human beings developed techniques to co convert these gifts in, of nature into useful articles which could satisfy their needs. Thus, the gift of nature became resources. Resource refers to all the minerals available in our environment which helps us to satisfy our needs. These minerals are converted into resources by value addition. This is possible by processing them into finished products with the help of suitable technology. Most of the individual activities are based on the concept of value addition. Gifts of nature may become valuable resources with the passage of time. For example, a waterfall is a gift of nature. It has force which can be used to dry water wheels. When technique was developed to harness this force of falling water, it became a resource. Nowadays, falling water is used to generate hydroelectricity. Thus, the gift of nature has become a valuable resource. Types of resources Our earth has enough resources. These are generally classified into natural resources, handmade resources and human resources. Natural resources The natural endowments such as land, air, water, soil, minerals, natural vegetation and fossil fuels are known as natural resources. Some of these resources can be used directly by us without any modification or processing. However, most natural resources need to be processed to produce goods to fit for cons consumption. For example, air, water and fruit can be used directly but minerals have to be separated from ores. Crude petroleum has to be refined to get petrol, diesel and wax. Thus, natural resources provide us raw materials which have, which have to be processed into useful. Products fit by human consumption. The place where natural resources occur influences their use. For example, some mineral resources occur on the earth's surface while others may occur deep under the earth's surface. It is difficult to mine beyond a depth of 2000 meter. Therefore, minerals occurring at such depth cannot be used by human beings. Thus, the utility of any natural resource is determined by the following factors. The form in which it occurs, the place where it occurs, the efforts needed to process it, the cost of processing it. Natural resources can be further classified on the basis of their origin, development, re renewability and distribution. D4 on the basis of origin. Biotic resources. Biotic resources are also known as living resources. They include plants, animal and microorganism. Some examples of these resources are forest, agricultural crops and wild and domestic animals. Most of the biotic resources have the capacity to produce, provide the environment condition, have the capacity to, to reproduce provided the environmental conditions are favorable. Thus, they are renewable. Abiotic resources 
we get abiotic resources from physical or non living environment land water air minerals and power resources are abiotic resources these resources can be exhausted by excessive use their total reserve cannot be increased by human efforts thus they are non renewable their usefulness depends upon the value of accessibility these resources are in great demand for the development of industries on the basis of development potential resources those resources whose total available quantity is not known at present are called potential resources these resources are not used at present but can be used in the future potential resources need detailed survey for the estimation of the quantity and quality for example africa has great potential for the generation of hydroelectricity this concept of hydroelectricity generation is based on the number of waterfalls their heights and the amount of water falling therefore they are yet not developed due to lack of suitable technology in most of the developing countries potential resources are not appreciably developed actual or developed resources those resources whose total quantity and quality are at present known are called as actual or developed resources survey has been conducted to find out their total available reserve a part of the actual resource resources a part of the actual resources can be developed for example wind blowing at a high speed has a potential was a potential resource about 200 years ago today a number of windmills have been installed in many parts of the world to harness wind energy the windmill such as in netherlands and tamil nadu now generate electricity here high speed wind is an actual or developed resource on the basis of renewability in renewable resource resource which can be renewed by reproduction are called as renewable resource they can also be renewed by physical mechanical or chemical process some of these resources are unlimited like solar and wind energy these are called inexhaustible resources their quality their quantity is not affected by human activities the biotic resources are also renewable they can be renewed under favorable environmental conditions unfortunately human beings destroy and pollute the environment as a result many species of plants and animals are either extinct or on the verge of extinction water is the most important renewable resource which is getting polluted due to human activities non renewable resources the resource which is available in fixed quantities like minerals and fossil fuels are called non renewable or exhaustible resources these resources once exhausted cannot be replaced most of the non living things which satisfy human wants are not most of the most of the non living things which satisfy human wants are non renewable as the natural process of their formation is very slow the rapid population growth creates pressure in such resources on the basis of distribution resources are not uniformly distributed over the earth according to the distribution resources can be ubiquitous or localized resources that are found everywhere such as air and sunlight are called ubiquitous resources which are found at certain places are known as localized resources gold and silver are localized resources human made resources natural resources have limited uses of their crude form in 
it may or may not satisfy human needs human beings are capable of changing their natural resources into useful products they use their knowledge and skills to develop technology to convert the natural resources into useful products human beings are natural resources human beings use natural resource to develop buildings roads machinery and vehicles these are known as human made resource technology is also an example of a human made resource human resources the greatest resource of the earth is human being they are capable of making the best use of natural resource through their knowledge skills and technology only human beings can discover exploit develop and convert the available or potential resource into useful products or wealth education and good health have helped human beings to become a valuable resource therefore any country which wants to progress must take care of both its natural and human resource conservation of resources in early times the density of population was low and the need of human beings were limited they were dependent on plants and animal which were easily available in the environment thus they never felt the need of for the conservation of resources with scientific and technological progress human beings started using resources at a much larger scale the continuous rise in population also caused an increasing demand of resources this created a situation in which the non renewable resource could be exhausted after some time therefore a balance between population growth and the utilize utilization of resource is absolutely necessary using natural resource carefully without wasting them is called conservation of resources when we use natural resource properly for today's need and also conserve them for the future generation it is called sustainable development the use of resource could be sustainable in recent times a lot of awareness about preservation and conservation of resource and the environment has been created this is due to the fear of the situation which may arise as a result of large scale destruction of natural resource each one of us has to make a sincere effort to save our natural resource for the future of the planet our future is actually dependent upon the ability to maintain and preserve the life support system which nature has provided thus we must reduce the damage done to our natural environment